follow-up video. Looks like we're hopping back into Phantom Forces. Psych! In this video, I want to briefly explain why I'm mentioning a subject from over two to three years ago, now when the dust has settled, why my video doesn't delve into a pedal topic, and why I use a misleading clickbaity title, and of course, am I insecure about being exposed as an epic clickbaity YouTuber? joining the ranks of people like Flingo and all those cringe front page tumors. I must admit, although I was aware of the situation from before, I only recently decided to talk about the pedo allegations because my friends were being threatened by Joe. This video wasn't even on my upload schedule, that's how quick it was put together. Just so it's on record, to please people who think I'm doing this purely for views, which of course is the truth, I mean, the video needs attention to be able to address the topic at hand. I will be removing the video shortly after I'm done my TL shenanigan, I'll either re-upload it on to a second channel or unlist it so people with a link can view it and then it won't count to my total number of views on my main channel. I could have taken more time to prod at the situation and delve deeper but like many have said it's old news and it's too late to talk about it now. But first and foremost, it's never too late to actually talk about or address a predator allegation. Second off, I don't want to steal Wilkel's glory. I'm a hypocrite, okay, don't at me. Wilkel is working on a larger video tackling the situation, which all the information you need to know, uh, he's working hard, and for me to come out of nowhere with my own big video would clearly discredit his own work. I want Wilkel to address this I want Wilkel to address the situation before me, and then from there, if I feel like it, maybe add on to it a bit. Either way, I have my own big TL for later into the year. Awareness is key, and in my opinion, the more people who know about the situation, I think the better. The reason I named the video the way I did. Oh wait, I have to actually pull this up now. Okay, so this is going to be quoted directly from a comment. Um, so I received a comment that said, "When the when the person who literally has been hasn't been involved with the community for quite some time is being harbored, a bit like how Argentina is harboring Hitler until this very day. I understand you may have concerns with the event in question, but when you frame uh, them like this, you detract detract from the argument, and it ultimately." makes it feel like you are more to push an agenda and your presentation is a little bit all over the place but i get what he's coming from and what he's trying to say here so here's what i responded with although i mean technically speaking the uh Zyman is not being harbored in uh the tlo and that was a poor choice of words on my part but uh here they're harboring his namesake and punishing anyone who decides to look into the subject such as willicle's uncalled for ban no one up to this point has gone public nor talked about the situation harboring is a metaphor determining that if you were to publicly ask about the situation in any relating discord including external servers, you will be punished by not a moderator, but a game developer. Harboring, although misleading, out of context, is the word I chose to describe the situation. It's fair to assume it was not a good word to choose, but it was a 3am thought process, and I wanted to go public before the ban went through. Rest in peace, the price guide, server, and all the mods in it. I want to mention, Zyvan isn't the only pedo in TL. Even though there are many who have been banned, good riddance, there's other cases where devs and mods have turned a blind eye. All in all, it shouldn't take the game mods forever and a half to determine a person has sexually harassed a community member when the evidence is on air. The delay is unreasonable and the mod's reaction is unfair. They aren't even reminding people of what precautionary actions they could take, instead treating it like it's common sense to take the situation to the police. In addition, it should also be noted the video was two minutes long. I wasn't planning a big vid. In fact, I had a super short script I put together beforehand and winging it didn't sound too coherent. Not enough coffee, I guess. Estoy hasta la puta madre banda tantos pinches idiomas y la gente no más entiende a putazos. All in all, I was working on a completely different TL video, more like a montage, but you know, of really old clips from before 2020. The only reason I came back to TL was to tie up loose ends that I felt like were weren't properly addressed, and to make the video I've always wanted to make. A legitimate trade lands review. I wanted to apologize to some of the community members for either the amounts of stress this style of content has inflicted on them and not being able to voice everyone's opinions equally or at the same time. Like I said, this video wasn't planned and I too am feeling a little under the weather after tackling the situation. It's not how I wanted to reach 500 subscribers. I also want to address more recent TL drama. Uh, Joe has cracked down on the price guide server as you all are probably aware by now and according to others, Epicmon is now cracking down on the UFA servers for the same reason. Joe as 
as we all know, uh, is very public and honest about his thoughts. He won't hesitate to say something, be it for the better or worse of the situation. Once again, like my previous video, I'll keep this brief and talk about what's important to the situation. While Joe was defending his actions, I took it upon myself to discuss the topic as well with him, which, wait, what? the fuck is this grandma? While Joe was defending his actions and he was pretty much willing to, you know, hold up a conversation with me, unfortunately, some Argentinian with mod powers, mind you, was also debating with Joe at the same time. And to not stress this enough, although he gave mixed arguments, some better than others, he was clearly struggling to hold his temper. He went forward and banned Joe from the server for breaking rule 9. Personally, I felt like this should have happened before or after the argument, not mid-argument. Of course, Joe retaliated with not a threat, but a warning that the mods of the Price Guy Discord server are most likely, in fact indefinitely, are going to be banned for uh, Val's actions. Oddly enough, Joe decided to continue the debate in my DMs, where he stated the following. Joe wanted me to clarify points he made previously. Mind you, I had no intentions of doing so originally, but when I decided to look or to when I was uh, but when I decided to work on this video I also figured I might as well include what Joe has to say on the situation after all with all this debate about platforms quote unquote it's only fair to let him say his piece oh yeah the clarification was deleted by some dumb dummy Argentinian when he banned Joe but here's parts of our DM so Joe wanted to clarify that he is not attempting to cover anything up but wants to share the correct facts about the situation he then insults me out of nowhere in good Joe-ish fashion and then continues if admins on the price guy server are going to give people a platform to talk, harass, and impersonate staff, among other things, they do not deserve their platform. Furthermore, if Block wanted a friend server, he should have done that instead of mismanaging a Price Guy server based on trade lands. Then Joe woke me up this morning to assure me he has watched my video, and in doing so, wants to remind you all that he is not harboring pedos, nor protecting them in TL. Well, I guess that means I have to change the title of my video. No, but seriously, I did change the title of my video. The reason behind it is that it's true, it is an inaccurate um, title, so instead, I made sure instead of being present term, it was past term. That way, yeah, actually, let's just move on from this part. Fuses to make a relief announcement, warning people of the dangers of sexual harassment and pedophilia in the DMs. Remember, you can always report people to Discord moderation to get their accounts terminated. And if that's not enough, I suggest capturing evidence and sharing it with people around you to spread awareness about the situation or contracting a hotline where you can get more advice. I'm more than willing to report on a situation if concrete evidence is provided, but that being said, I'm not a trained professional and neither are your friends. Instead of harassing predators, I suggest contacting a legitimate authority figure in the real lives. Take this as you will, and preferably with a grain of salt. I was hope happy to inform Blocktanium that he has a sliver of a chance to repel this ban by talking to Joe sometime February 5th, probably already happened by the time this video is uploaded, but you know. Which I'm glad to hear because up until now, Block was meeting all demands, and it would truly be an unfair ban if the entire mod team of the Price Guide server was eradicated for the actions of one Argentine. Anyways, um, should I do that again? I don't, I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Anyways, that sums up everything I wanted to discuss. Please don't expect a third video on the subject. I want to happily go back to editing my montage. If you expect a deep dive, remember Wilkos is working on a larger video that tackles the situation, so go sub to his channel or something. For me though, all I need you to do is, uh, go watch my other videos. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower now. Leave me alone.